Sometimes the biggest win in sports is simply participating. That's the case for one young man in Woodburn who's proving to be an inspiration for anyone who meets him. News Channel 15's Joe Whalen is here now with more. Joe? Mark and Heather, as a freshman wrestler at Woodland High School, Nick Hoot posted a 17-11 and 11 record, qualifying for regionals at 106 pounds. Not a bad season. But the fact that Nick is wrestling at all is truly remarkable. Here is Woodland's Warrior. Wrestling has but one mantra. Keep fighting through practice, through the match, through life. Well, it's so disciplined. There's so much you don't want to do, like all the hard working and conditioning. But that's just part of life. You're going to hit a lot of barriers in life, but you really have to just get over them. Nick Hoot has been overcoming barriers his entire life. A lot of people see me as a disadvantage. I look at myself as an advantage because with me and without my legs, I think I can do a lot. A sophomore wrestler at Woodland High School, Nick was born without parts of both legs. The right one above the knee, the left at the ankle. And neither of his hands has a fully developed set of fingers. But where some might break in the face of such challenges, Nick has thrived. He's very good from all positions on his feet. He does a real nice job. He stays out of trouble. From top, he, he rides, I mean, very well. And then from bottom, he's, he's, hard to, he's hard to keep down. He's constant movement. That's why I keep working through the summer. I want to get more and more wins every year. Um, knowing that everyone has all their eyes on me because they're not used to seeing someone like me wrestle that often, I know I have to go out there and be the best. That Nick is able to wrestle at all is itself a miracle. I knew that I was supposed to be an aborted baby and it was a failed. It makes me angry because I never want that to happen to any kid. Anybody can become anything and getting rid of a kid like that isn't right to me. And no, it didn't because I just look at myself as a miracle and that I can accomplish a lot of things. Nick was born in Siktakar, Russia in September 1996. He was immediately put up for adoption. But shortly after Christmas of the following year, he was brought to Woodburn to begin a new life with new parents. Marvin in April. I was scared for two weeks to put his legs on him, and after that it was like, oh, okay, his legs go on like you dress your other kids. He got his first pair of legs the summer after he came home. He was like two. They sent home this tiny walker about this tall with him. He threw his walker away about two days after he got it, used furniture, and then in two weeks' time he was running. And would it be the last time Nick's parents would marvel at his ability to overcome life's obstacles? And it was another sport that proved the catalyst. For two years, I didn't want him to play baseball. Because I was afraid, How's he? he can't run the bases fast enough like the other kids. And they'll make fun of him. Well, I was wrong. He stole home in one game and the championship game and tied the game for him. And he got a standing ovation on both sides and slaps on the back. It was just amazing seeing him run into home. Uh, the, the look on his face, the, the straining, you know, try, trying to go as hard as he can to get to the plate. I don't think I've ever found myself any different. I mean, I can't run as fast as a lot of them except for a lot of the bigger kids, but I always found ways around it. Like even when I used to play football, I always found different ways around it. That goes for basketball as well. Nick has never met a sport he didn't try. Much like Marvin and April have never met a child they wouldn't help. In addition to their three biological children and Nick, the Hoots have adopted five others, all like Nick, from other countries and with birth defects. Nick serving as a role model for them all. How real he is. How much of a heart he has. Whether he wins when he goes out there and his hand is raised is beside the point. He's a winner even though he go if his hand isn't raised, he's still a winner no matter what. Nick did his share of winning at this past weekend's ACAC tournament. He finished third in the 113-pound weight class. Mark and Heather.